Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. It is clear now that it wasn't just one incident in which somebody tried to kill Trump. If you haven't heard, around 2 o'clock p.m. today at one of Trump's golf courses, there was an assassination attempt from a guy named Ryan Wesley Ralph who was, they said, between 300 and 500 yards away. Kind of a big span of difference there, but let's say it was 400 yards away. The person used an AK-47, most likely a variant of an AK. The very people who are voting for and supporting those who want to eliminate a person's right to own a modern sporting rifle are using modern sporting rifles, as they dub on the left, assault rifles, to kill Trump. You know a couple months ago, it was the same type of scenario. Some left-wing liberal is out there trying to fire and came this close, just a fraction of a, a distance away from Trump's head. The, the, the fact that it did not shoot Trump in the head is incredible the way that all worked out. And now we have a second case where somebody's trying to kill Trump. And he opened fire and they right now have them in, have that clown in custody. It's pretty crazy at the measures they will go to. Now imagine for one minute if this was somebody who was right wing, somebody who tried to kill Harris or Biden or Hillary Clinton, you name it. Imagine the onslaught of media coverage about how the right is violent. The right is is crazy. The mega Republicans want to kill everybody. Meanwhile, they use the media, the courts, the Department of Justice, the assault rifles, and the, and the wacko liberals that are trying to do whatever they can to keep him off of the ballot. They even tried to keep him off the ballot during the primaries saying that it's unconstitutional to let somebody who in, inspired an insurrection to be on the ballot. They did whatever they could. So far, nothing has worked. Trump is the nominee, so what's left? They have to try to kill them, to kill Trump. It, it's, it's really pathetic. And if it happened the other way around, it would be chaos. But instead, what do they do? They say, well, this just proves the point that we need to ban assault weapons because these people, these gun owners, are crazy and they cannot be trusted. It's not that the gun owners can't be trusted. It's radical left-wing anti-gun wackos who can't be trusted. You look at every time there's one of these shootings, it's some crazy psycho who is a radical left-winger. At least 90% of the time. That's what it it turns out to be. And it, it doesn't catch anybody by surprise. It's always been that way. When, when I grew up, people solved their problems with their fists. Now what do they do? They stick a gun through a fence at Trump's golf course and just starts opening fire in hopes that it'll hit them. It, it really is unbelievable. And the way they spin it around to make it seem as if the problem is not with the radical, whacked out, left-wing losers. The problem is the mega Republicans who want to keep their guns. And if I, I, I just can't help but go back and think if it was somebody on the other side trying to kill one of them, how the reaction would be so much different. Now, Trump did say that the Secret Service did a great job. They were all over it. They apprehended this idiot and they have him now. But what else can you do to keep this guy off the ballot? And how many times is he going to defy death? And how many more plans are out there with the supposed greatest intelligent protection secret service agencies out there to protect the president? Here we have two assassin attempts within a couple months. This is a disgrace, and I don't think they are finished until they finish off Trump. And if you recall, after the first one, it's still too early to hear the reaction from this one, but after the first one, some of these whack jobs were saying, next time, don't miss. Well, it, it's too bad that it worked out that way. It was so close. If, if only the shooter would have been successful. And if any person on our side said something like that, it would be all over and arrested immediately. Just for the words. 
And yet here they are carrying out these actions and we're supposed to sit back and say, well, you know, it just goes to show you that we need good people with guns. Well, we do need good people with guns, but I tell you what, they, these people are nuts and very seldom do you see a legal gun owner act like that. And if you did, you'd see a whole different story, a whole different narrative, and we would turn into a bunch of cycles which would just fuel their high motivation to get rid of the modern sporting rifles that keep Americans safe every day. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.